Greetings, YouTube. I have heard from a few of you out there that have told me this week that you are struggling with Thing Mini Boss in Map 7 of Alliance Quest. And they did some pretty BS things with him, to be honest. Uh, between the minus 40% skill, the mesmerize, you can see dismay, enhanced special one. So I put out a call to a few people who I knew I trusted who ran map 7 to see if they had any tips. And one of my longtime subscribers and supporters, Mr. Triumphant, who I featured in a six-star crystal opening in the past week as well, sent over the video of my bay Quake, doing work. Now, I gotta warn you, he is a far better Quake player than I am, and he can Quake and Bake like the best of them. AKA, he doesn't depend on Perry to get the job done. So, we're gonna watch this video. Remember, it's the Mighty Charge, it's the Mesmerize. Thankfully, Quake is not skill. She is science. So, this is a beast of a day five. 90,000 rated. So all he's going to do is hold that heavy and evade. That's it. Maybe every once in a while release the heavy. But besides that, it's just stand in the corner and do perfect Quake and Bake. And as somebody who loves Quake, I am always envious of these perfect evaded timing fights and you can see just how much skill is involved and patience but he's got the uh four hit combo and the five hit combo evades down and look how close they are together they look like they are not social distancing i will say that but when you're an expert quick player there you go like i said every once in a while you gotta push him back with the heavy but besides that it's just this perfect timing. Notice he does appear to have suicides on, which also assists. But pretty dang crazy that with a 90,820 rated thing, she's able to have a one chance or a chance to one shot. This is the perfect quake fight. Um, I am. Always amazed at the skill of my friend. He is a top tier Hall of Famer, as I like to call him in MCOC. And I don't think I would even be allowed to be the nighttime, part time janitor of the MCOC Hall of Fame when it comes to skill. But you got to know your place, you know? You got to know your place in this community. I know it. <laughs> I am not. Uh, I am not going to ignore it. But I'm also not going to exaggerate it. And. Now, with under a minute left, he's almost in assassin range. He's almost at the 18% health. And this is just the perfect Quake fight. I know I keep saying that. And technically, I think he's only hit him once. And that was just with the one time that he released the heavy. But besides that, it's just so much patience, timing, and skill. And now, Thing is at a comfortable 3% health and still 30 seconds left. Uh, plenty of time to finish him off, and done. Technically two hits, I think, but the perfect Quake fight to help anybody who's thinking about maybe should I start practicing with Quake, should I rank her up, I really hate this thing mini. Uh, well, there you have it. And he also brings in Heimdall with Corvus for that synergy as well. So Heimdall can be very effective, though I'm sure he is not somebody who uh, uses him in actual combat unless it's a last resort kind of deal. Thanks again to Triumphant for sitting on this video, and good luck to everybody who's brave enough to do map 7. Map 5 is, uh, well, it's fine for me.